Hello, creative freelancers and solopreneurs. Welcome to Coaching for Creatives in the Business of Creativity Community Group. Thank you so much for joining me live and thank you for your patience. This has been um, an exciting time for me to try out and experiment with new ways of delivering my marketing message to you. And my name is Aura McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity. And when I say deliver my marketing message to you, Part of my marketing message is that at Business of Creativity, we are committed to supporting creatives in mastering the business of creativity, mastering the business marketing and mindset that we need to thrive. And so today I want to talk about your marketing message and what you can do with your own marketing message to be more effective, to connect with people in a powerful way. So one of the things that you can do is to think about who your audience is. That has been a really critical piece to deciding how are you going to communicate with your marketing message. Last week um, during Coaching for Creatives, we talked about what is marketing communication, what is the definition of marketing communication, and this week we're going to talk about what are, what are you going to use in those communications. So when we're speaking about marketing messaging, we are speaking about the words you say, the images that you use, your tone of voice, your body language, how you show up in the world as your brand when you're representing your brand. And as creative freelancers and solopreneurs, pretty much every single time we show up in the world, we are showing up as a representation of our brand. So what do we need to think about in our messaging, in how we are actually showing up for our audience? And the number one thing is who is your audience? Because anytime we're talking about messaging and communication, we're talking about a two-way experience. Marketing is what we are saying, but in order for it to be effective communication, we need our audience to both listen and understand and really get what, we were, what we're saying. Um, today in the Business Accelerator Mastermind Group, we did a practice of our introduction and had the opportunity to get feedback from the rest of the group on what did they actually hear when we stood up and delivered our marketing message of this is who we are and what we're about. And it's so powerful to get that reflection back of what do people actually hear when you are um, saying your marketing message, when you're delivering who you are in the world. And it was really interesting to notice what things resonated with people, what was missing for people, and what they kind of latched onto. So I encourage you, if you have any clarity about your marketing message, or you're trying to find clarity about your marketing message, practicing it in a community of support is a really great way to see what you can't see about your own message. So definitely in your marketing message, you want to get some feedback on it to find out if you're being effective in your communications, if people are actually receiving what you're putting out. And the main thing about being successful around that is considering who are you talking to. And if you think about this in your own life, uh, the way I talk to my cat is not the way I talk to my neighbor. Um, the way that I talk to my coach is not necessarily the way that I talk to my marketing community. The way that I speak on social media is not necessarily exactly the same as the way that I speak, speak in my email communications. So even though I might have the same content in my message or the same intention in my message, I want to focus on crafting my message so that it is most effective to reach the person I'm trying to talk to. Anytime you can compose a message while you have like somebody specific in mind, somebody, um, you know, maybe the name of a specific client and to speak as if you're talking directly to them, that will really help um, make your marketing message a lot more effective and a lot more powerful. Thank you so much. I see that I have a bunch of people live online. I appreciate you showing up and your patience. If you do have questions or comments, please go ahead and put them in the chat box. There will be a slight delay, but I'm happy to answer 
any of your questions. And I love hearing your feedback on whatever resonates with you during these coaching for creative sessions. So tip number one, whenever you're composing a message to think really um, ground your intention in who you're speaking to. Tip number two, Whatever you're communicating to people and however you've grounded yourself in those messages, to do your best to align the tone of your message with your brand personality or with your brand promise. Um, there's something to be said with that level of consistency. One of the things that we do with our marketing is we're trying to build a relationship of trust with our prospects or with our ideal clients. Gang, we're selling invisible stuff. We're selling a promise. We're selling something that our clients can't touch or try on or really see if it is exactly what they want before they buy it. They're buying, trusting us to deliver on that promise. So it's, it's a huge leap of faith for them. And if there is any red flags for them or any kind of dissonance or discomfort or confusion, or if the message doesn't really match the tone, that serves to kind of dilute that trust or it can take the trust away or it can make it much harder for your clients to be a heck yeah, I totally get it. I totally trust you and I totally want to do business with you. So one of the ways that we can reinforce that trust and we can sort of add equity and create momentum around that trust is to make sure that our marketing messages are aligned with our brand personality. So what does that mean practically? Like, let's get on the court with that and talk about this for just a little minute. So what that means is my brand is energetic. It's about enthusiasm. It's about support and edutainment. And if that's the element of uh, my brand that I'm focusing on, you can see how my body language, my energy levels, the words that I use, my, uh, my self-expression, all of that is aligning to match up with that brand personality. Um, some of my brand promises are that you're going to get um, always live. So all of my training is live online. I think that that's a really integral part of what separates business of creativity from some other online platforms. So of course I'm going to do Facebook live broadcasts. Of course I'm going to be giving um, my community opportunities to connect with me live instead of just through uh, pre-recorded things or instead of just through texting or through to, um, social media communications because my message is live is better. So of course I need to step into that and to be consistent about that and to be aligned my actions with what I'm promising with my brand. So take a look at your own brand for a minute. What are some of the brand characteristics that you are excited about? What are the things that your brand stands for? What would you use to describe? What are, say, three to five words that you might use to describe your brand? Now, look at your most recent marketing communications. Look at your recent post. Look at your uh, most recent blog post. Um, look at what you've recently shared. Look at the images and the words that you, they, you've used. Do they match up with what you are claiming as your brand personality? So does your marketing message, does what you're saying and how you say it align with your brand personality? And is it directed to a specific audience, to a specific kind of prospect or ideal client? So those are two major tips about, you know, what are we gonna include in our marketing message? The third tip that I'm gonna leave you with today is that the marketing message is different depending on where your client is in the buyer journey. Now, I've probably talked about the buyer journey a few times um, in the last more than 100 episodes that I have done on these Facebook Lives, but I'm gonna give you a refresher here and I will likely speak about it again next week on Coaching for Creatives in a little bit more depth. The buyer's journey is about how people get to know us well enough to hire us. And the buyer's journey suggests that, you know, there's, there's, there's 
probably 7 billion people out there who have never heard of me or heard of my business. Those people are total strangers. Now, not all 7 billion of them are my ideal client, but of those out there that are my ideal client, there's a lot of people that have never heard of me, never heard of you. So those people need a different message than the people who already know you really well, they've been following you for ages, they're on your Facebook page, they read your blog, they've signed up to your newsletter. They have a different level of intimacy, of relationship, of trust already built up with you. The people that are still strangers who don't really know who you are yet would need a different marketing message. So as we go through that buyer's journey of getting to know you, like you, trust you, maybe even try you out before they make a big investment, they will need a different message at each stage of that buyer's journey. So it's important to remember not only who you're talking to and what tone of voice and what kind of language you want to use to talk to them, but also to connect with where they're at in the conversation. Um, my coach always tells me that we have to meet people where they're at before we can take them to where we want to be. So we need to speak in our marketing messages to where we think our clients might be. And gang, a lot of people are in stressed out, um, concerned, um, there's uncertainty, and this is why you're getting so many marketing messages that speak to stressed out, concerned, and uncertainty. That's a big part of why people are looking for that kind of messaging and why you're seeing so much of it is because that's what people think they're at. Now, with your own marketing message, if you're struggling with it, the best thing to do is to get some outside perspective. Gang, I am a marketing expert for my clients. I've taken tons of marketing training and education. I've been working in marketing since the early 90s, and I still have difficulty being effective in my own marketing message. I'm too close to it. I can't see it. It's, it's too much in my own world. I need um, an outside perspective to show me where my blind spots are, to show me the things that I can't see, to be able to look at my message objectively. One of the things that came up today in the Business Accelerator Mastermind was how we can't necessarily see or experience our message from the inside. And it's only when somebody else hears it that we go, oh, maybe I've been making a bunch of assumptions in my marketing message. Maybe I've been using shorthand or jargon or language that my ideal prospect isn't familiar with yet. Maybe I'm too close to my own message to be able to see it with clarity. So being in that community of support or having a coach or having um, hiring a marketing consultant or someone who can help you with that messaging is so, so valuable to being able to be effective and to being able to be um, objective about your own communications. So those are four of my tips. I'd love to hear which one of those um, resonated with you most. If there's one that you hadn't heard of or was a great reminder, please drop it in the comments, which of those four tips. So again, it is uh, remember your audience, align with your um, brand messaging, get outside perspective. And uh oh, there was another one I'm missing right now. Oh, buyer's journey. So um, audience in mind, align with your brand messaging, be mindful of where your clients are on the buyer's journey and get some outside perspective on your marketing message to make sure that you're being as effective as you can. So let me know which of those four points um, helped you the most, resonated with you the most, or maybe even where you're struggling. I'd love to be able to serve and support you. Thank you for joining me in the Business of Creativity community group. I appreciate you coming over to the new location and I will see you next week on Coaching for Creatives. Thank you so much. I'm Aura McKay of Business of Creativity. Have a great, great week.